welcome back to the channel. This your boy J-Rock and in today's video we about to be going over five outfits that I wore this past week. They're all ball outfits, they're all cool, and I think each one of these different outfits can be put into your wardrobe. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Starting the week off, I wanted to come with something that was kind of in a fall vibe. So I throw on these army green packs and cargo pants, lightweight material. And for the occasion, it was the perfect way to start the week off. Next, I got this all white H&M t-shirt to rock. One of those go-tos or essentials that you gotta have in your wardrobe. I like this tee because it's actually oversized and it's a little bit thicker in the quality opposed to like a regular Hanes or Fusion Looms tee. Then I pieced it up with this tan Nike golfer jacket that I grabbed from the outlets about like a year and a half ago or something. I love this jacket, man. It's lightweight, cool, sleek, slim, not too bulky, not too heavy. And I think the khaki paired well with the olive green pants. And to finish the outfit out, I grabbed these Nike Off-White Vapor Maxes. One of my go-tos in my collection because of the color. I can put them on with pretty much any outfit and they always match good. And I kind of wanted to keep some of the aesthetic that I was building, which was lightweight materials, but still somewhat of an athletic slash casual look. Overall, I think this fit came out great. I actually wore it to a lunch with one of my friends and she loved the fit, so y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Alright, now Tuesday, I knew I was going to be out for a good amount of time that night, so I wanted to get something that was going to be kind of warm and keep me kind of comfortable while I was going to be in and out of my car. I started off with these black H&M cargo pants that I got with zippers on the pockets, then I grabbed this blue H&M hoodie. One of my go-tos, I like the light blue color, and then it's slim fit so it stays snug to the body. I honestly wish I could find the pants to go with this top. I've been feeling full body sweatsuits a lot more lately. I actually gotta find a lot more that I like. Y'all put in the comment section below if y'all like sweatsuits, man. And if you got any that you wanna send to me, don't be afraid to go ahead and hit my DMs. To finish off the fit, I threw on this black puffer vest that I got from Old Navy, just to add a little bit more layering. And then for the shoes, we throw on the black Air Force Ones, man, yes. Yeah. The ghetto stumpers, the Debo Slayers. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. See, unlike a lot of y'all, I actually embraced the Black Air Force One. See, these actually have on tumble leather, so they got me feeling a little bit more, a little bit more professional when I'm hopping fences and you know, smacking the ops with the bricks. Wednesday rolled around, and I wanted to dress down with more of a streetwear vibe. I threw on some of my favorite pair of jeans, these all black distressed skinnies. Then I grabbed this cream graphic tee that has a black and purple picture on the chest. I grabbed both of these from H&M and no cap, we kind of started to see a trend here. I was out in the city filming a video at Georgia State, so I wanted to wear something that I felt confident to talk new people in, something fresh and something still casual. Weather said 65, but the sun was beaming and knowing Georgia weather is better to be safe than sorry, so I threw on this white down jacket from Forever 21, and then for the shoes I threw on these purple metallic Jordan 4s. These came out in a pack with three others in red, green, and orange, but the purple colorway was the one I had to get my hands on. Overall, this is one of my favorite fits of the week, definitely so far, and it looked even better on camera, so make sure you go check out the public interview I did that day. Thursday, I had a more formal event to go to, so I embraced the opportunity to dress up and wear my black slacks from Ralph Lauren in a classic slim fit. For the shirt, I grabbed a white Oxford from Calvin Klein that's a little different in texture with slim ridges riding down all the sides and made sure it was extra crispy for the occasion. I honestly don't get a chance to dress up as often as I would like, but I'm looking forward to changing that in the future by putting myself in more professional places. And I can't wait to fill my wardrobe with more menswear and mature pieces. I'm getting a little older and it's time to finally start dressing as a man because your image is everything. Even though I've always been intentional with the way I carry myself, it's time to start really betraying myself as a man that I am. Now speaking of maturity, I wore these black leather monk straps from Kenneth Cole, which are my favorite style of dress shoes. I just always thought that monk straps had the cleanest and most classic look and also gave more of an elegant side than most other styles. But let me know your favorite style of dress shoe in the comments below. As far as accessories, I kept it pretty simple. I got this reversible leather belt from Perry Ellis and this black skinny European style tie from ASOS. And yes, your boy definitely does know how to tie a tie. I actually think it's kind of crazy that most dudes nowadays don't even know how to tie a tie. I mean, come on now. Girls love men in suits and ties. Now I actually have like virtually no watch collection at all. I only got like one gold watch and it doesn't even have a battery in it, but my dad did give me this silver mesh banded watch just to throw on for the evening. And don't get me wrong, I love watches. It's probably my favorite accessory. I just don't have any yet, but trust me, best watch collection on YouTube coming soon. 
And finally, we stepping into Friday. So at the end of the week off, I had to throw on some jeans and a tee and step out with some of the bros. I threw on these light wash jeans from Abercrombie and Fish. They got slits on the knees and then some paint splatter all around. And then I pulled out this skinny fit, long sleeve black t-shirt from H&M. I really messed with the slim fit shirts from H&M because they gave a more athletic and tailored fit around the chest and the shoulders. And then they let me show my arms off a little bit. I even copped the same shirt in white and the short sleeve white and black ones too. Because to be completely honest, on a regular day, a white tee or a black tee is probably what I'm gonna be throwing on. But like I said, me and some of the guys were stepping out that night, so I wanted to piece this brown bomber jacket on top of the long sleeve that I was wearing. And to be honest, I think it blended pretty well with the Washington jeans that I was wearing. But yeah, good Forever 21 jacket, good light browns, fall slash autumn vibes. And since it's Friday for the sneaks, I had to put on these off-white Virgils. These are Jordan 5s and the sale color. I switched the laces in these to these black reflective off-white laces that came with my Virgil Air Force Ones. I just like the black laces better with this shoe, and it's something that I know nobody else gonna have on. Finish the fit off with a red beanie, and yeah, let me know what you think. I'm not gonna cap, the Jays really set this fit off in my opinion, and the crazy thing about it is that I copped them at a random thrift store. Click this video right here to watch me take my little sister thrifting for her first time where we find these and a whole bunch of other fire pieces. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned in for more. Keep good vibes only, and we out.